Time is going by super fast, and um, yeah, we gotta get this going. I love painting so much. Oh, the light looks so cute. This chair is very comfortable. It's a sneak peek. We are ship lapping this wall. Lennon's in the crib. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because we are tackling the nursery, the baby's room, whatever you wanna call it. This room has been a little bit of a process, that's for sure. Around Christmas time, this room was actually my daughter's room, and then she decided to move into our other room that we were using as like a guest room, kind of. And then this room basically became like a catch-all place for the next couple months. We first had to declutter the whole thing. Today is the day, today we are going to finally start, me and my husband are going to finally start getting the nursery prepared, ready for the baby. Time is going by super fast and um, yeah, we gotta get this going. Right now this room is a mess. The main thing that I want to do today is get all of this stuff, you see all that? What a mess. And then all of this stuff is like different little craft things that I have. My plan is to move them into a bigger box and then move that stuff out to the garage and have it be like my craft box. All of this stuff is just Valentine's Day stuff that I still need to put in a box, put that up in the attic. This little area over here is kind of like my mood vision board kind of thing for the nursery. I'm doing white and tan with this cognac color, cognac, cognac, and then greenery I wanna have in here as well. So we're gonna get everything pulled off the walls. Carl's gonna get started with patching. I'm going to get started putting up the Valentines, then conquering this craft stuff. white paint in here. The room is officially all cleared out now, except for a little bit of stuff in the closet. Lennon is so excited to start painting. Oh my God, <laughs> you're crazy. I get the door painted, get this light changed out. Whisper white, because you gotta whisper for the baby. It's a little whisper of a pain. Whisper. I whisper white. Whisper I'm whispering. Please go on nice and smooth. Getting that ceiling too. Ooh, it's gonna be such a nice, beautiful, crisp white. Day two of painting. Day two of painting, and we painted dozens of rooms in our lives. Together, yes. Together, in many different places we lived. Alan, don't Alan, get don't paint on your soul. Don't get paint on you, but I won't drink it. Look at you, you're such a handsome boy. Will you sit for me? Sit. Sit. 
Oh, that's such a good boy. Oh, you're so yeah, cute. So oh, you want to give? Oh, don't! Oh my God, he almost went in the pink. He wants to give me a hug. All right, give daddy hugs. Oh, he just wants to give you a hug. You get the best hugs. All right, let's continue this painting journey. Oh, he's been so lonely because he hasn't been in here. He's such a big boy. How much do you love painting? I love painting so much. It definitely isn't boring. You've been waiting all day for this part, huh? Yep. Even yesterday. Oh, the light looks so cute. So cute. So cute. Looks so good. Yeah, we also got the recliner slash rocker that I wanted set up in here. All right, Lennon's been dying to open the glider. Here we go. Oh boy. Moment of truth. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it looks like it's going to be comfy. Yeah, it looks super comfy. All right, you want to try out the chair? Yep. There it is. Whoa. Pull the lever back. So comfy. Love it. Then we got the crib put together, which was super exciting. The time has come. We are going to build, and by we, I mean Carlos is going to build the crib. How do you feel, Carlos Navarro? I'm very confident. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be easy. Alan's going to help you build, so it'll be totally easy. Yes. He's right here to help. Hey, that hurt. Hey, baby little. Whoa, my God. <laughs> All right. I always like to look over the instructions. I really love the light. I'm really excited about that. That's nice. I put that up. <laughs> you know, you did such a good job. You've got this. I believe in you. You're going to do a great job. And you're going to feel so proud of yourself once it's done. And when that baby is sleeping in this crib, I put together a couple things in my life and I've realized it's better to get everything out to get what you got than to just take it out of the box as you go. Yeah, I would say that's the way to do it. I started a couple of things in my 37 years of life. I'm so excited to see this crib. We've had the crib for, I don't know, maybe three weeks to a month. And it's just been in our box. And I'm so excited. I knew I wanted to get the room painted before we put the crib together. It's a sneak peek. We are possibly not going to keep those crib sheets. We're going to keep them, but it might not be our permanent crib sheet. It's a little more orangey than I thought it was gonna be. And now we actually have the dresser as well and a lamp. We have everything moved to the side because this wall right back here is what we're focusing on today. We are ship flapping this wall. Lennon has been so excited. Here, come on this side. If you don't know what ship lap is, you guys should check out the other video where we ship lap my mom's room. Oh yeah, so we have used this ship lap before. It is by the company called Wall Planks. We used it in my bedroom. It is so easy. It's so easy. Well, Daddy did most of it, but, yeah, but <laughs> it looks easy. All you easy. have to do is uh, pull like a little sticker off and then you just stick it to the wall. Once we get started, we'll show, show them daddy doing it. There's the ship lapper. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> we redid my bedroom, our bedroom, back in October, and mm -hmm. we showed the wall planks, and we loved them so much. We love the way they look in our bedroom. We decided that we really wanted to be able to have 
that same kind of look in the baby's room as the accent wall with, that the crib will be up against. So Wallplanks was kind enough to work with us again and we are so excited and appreciative of it. Somebody like me who likes to try to new, do new things but can get a little intimidated by maybe putting real boards up there. And, and nails. And nails and all these things and even though I've done some other stuff, Wallplanks makes it really, really easy and uh, uh, You just have to peel and stick. Peel and stick. Peel and stick. Peel and stick. That's what we like to do. Peel and stick. And it's more affordable than just getting shiplap, hiring someone to help if you need it. We can do this on our own. Carlos, I believe in you. Thank you. So, are we ready for Daddy to do this? Yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited. So excited. How are those instructions looking? You don't remember how to do it? You just I do, doing I a little them. refresh. Exactly. Refresh. All boxes come with instructions. We're gonna link wool plank down below. Yes. So you can buy some for your own room or let's say your daughters or your sons or your babies or whatever. <laughs> your uncles, your aunts, your grandma, your grandpa. There's so many different kinds, right? So many. We just like um, the ship lab because that's the one we use. We like the plain white classic ship lab, but they have distressed looking ones, they have different colors. So many different things. Let's just do it. <laughs> the first piece is going up. The piece that will open. Jeez! <gasps> it's okay. Nothing to fear. Okay. Let's A J-roller! <laughs> this is something you need to have. It smoothens out all the little air pockets that are caught in between the uh, area and the ship lap. Oh yeah. Lennon's in the crib. Okay, it is the next day. We didn't finish, we, I mean, Carlos, didn't finish the ship lab completely last night. We got very close to the end and now we are going to finish up. We got a little bit of a late start. Are you ready to do this, Carlos? Yes, Tomorrow. I am. I'm ready to finish this out. Check it off the list and look at the beauty, beauty, beautiness of it. Beautiness, thank you. And we're also gonna share a few tips that we have learned since this is our second time, second room that we've done with the wall planks from, well, the shiplap from wall planks. And um, we will also share something that um, Carlos did a little bit wrong, mm -hmm. but We'll share the way he did it and the way it could have been done correctly. All that we have left is this little tiny bottom part. Here's what Carlos did a little bit wrong. Not by Megan's standards. 
but I did a perfect cut around the outline. Per perfect that's is perfect. not. It's not perfect. perfect. It's not. It's not that's perfect. My eyes. That's perfect. <laughs> it's not perfect. And we can put an outlet above over it. It just has to be a bigger outlet. You're actually supposed to take the cover off and then cut in further so that don't push me down. <laughs> Stop. So that when you put the outlet cover back on, it just goes flush over the top of the shiplap. And that's how our bedroom one is. But he didn't remember that, and so he decided to cut it like that. It's not my ideal way for the outlet to be, but the crib and stuff will be pretty much covering Inside. that area. So I'm gonna let you <laughs> let it go for today. This is Carlos's makeshift little um, sawing, sawing. Yeah, sawhorses. Sawhorse. There we go. It it works. It does. Gets the job done. It gets the job done. Before I get started, um, <laughs> I do want to say that this is the first cut that we're going along, like long ways. Most cuts are straight up. It's a little more difficult of a cut. So I just want to tell you that before we get started. <laughs> In case you're going, boy, he's just doing this the whole time. No, first time we're doing this to get the perfect cut. Oh my God. Okay. Don't screw this up. Please. Shut my ears. That has to be one of the most horrific noises. What? <laughs> it's on all day. Fine. Fox is gonna get eaten by a hawk, but other than that, we're okay. Like, you want a dog companion? Come on, Foxy. You want a treat? Come on. You want a treat? Come on, come get a treat. Sissy will give you one. Treat. Look at her hauling butt in here. You're on fast with the mommy right now. <laughs> so one thing I didn't do last time was I didn't sand down the rough edges of the side that was cut, and I've noticed that I don't think it does anything, <laughs> but I feel cool doing it. <laughs> but doesn't it say to do it? It does say to do it, but I didn't do it last time. And I think it does actually leave a smoother finish on the side. Probably. Sometimes I can't tell which side I cut or which side is the original. Side. Oh yeah, because yours are always so straight. Yes, yeah, so here's another thing that I do. See this, boom, boom, boom. Well, don't let your sawdust build up. Then you're sitting there and you can't see anything. No, what I do. <laughs> okay, what do we do? I have a trusty <laughs> oh leaf blower. I blow that off. Too. Oh my god. I believe we have the perfect piece. Voila. The perfect piece. This is a corner feet, so you must make sure that it sits across the line there. Beautiful. Just like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fits in nice like that. Yeah. One thing I always do is I always place it with the sticker. Even the big boards may seem easy. I place it with the sticker and I seal it so I have an idea and then... You mean with the backing on it? With the backing on the sticker. Yeah. You see. Then you take it off. Oh! <laughs> oh God! Don't do that. So I know this is the size of the bottom. So, now that this is flat, I'm gonna outline it here a little bit. I pretty much should have a home design show. <laughs> Oh wow, we're gonna get down. Oh yeah, if you wanna see the right seal, look at that. Boom, beautiful. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? All right. Superman pose right now. Take <laughs> ah, a roller. Take a roller, very important. Last piece of shiplap. Going Last in. Piece. So exciting. It really is. Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom, pitch up. Ship lap is officially done. I'm so Yay! proud of myself. tips too that can help with uh, some of it as well. Okay, so this little tip is gonna save you a bunch of 
taking out your finger and spit and trying to rub something <laughs> up. I did it the first time around. So because your hands are all over this, sometimes you get little smudges and stuff like that. Like, like that. Like that right there. What I found that works so easy is Goo Gun. They're not advertising this, but No, this... I think they actually say that on their website or something. Oh, really? Under tips, yeah. This is amazing. Okay, so you see this right here that normally you can really smudge off? Boom, gone. 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 We went and cleaned our other one. In two seconds it comes off. So the little squirt goes a long way. Look, it applies <laughs> a little right there. And um, it really makes a big difference. And they look nice and shiny and clean too. So you get the planking when you want it to lay down against the seam, like when you're connecting Connect, it. When you're connecting the two planks. Yes, you want to make really sure make extra sure they're, they're, they're connecting. Exactly. In good. And that's the first part you want to have down. And then you kind of want to follow along the top of the plank to make sure they line to up. To make sure they line up and then at the end of the plank make sure the top right end is down and then you can kind of flatten out the rest and of then it. you get your J roll. Exactly. So the other one is let's say sometimes you gotta cut, maybe you don't have the smoothest cut on one side. Or the most even because let's be honest, we are not Professionals. Yeah. Right. Some parts like that, maybe there's a little too much space. Yeah. Like, uh, like, like right here. Like down here. You yeah. you did a little bit too yeah, much space. Yeah, a little space too right much there. space there, but you know. It so, could be, you could totally just leave that. Yeah, leave it. So this had a, a little bit of a gap. So what I did was I put some drywall spackle and placed it in between there and kind of cleaned off the sides. And then it fills in that area with a little bit of white. And it's very kind of, you know. You can't really you tell. You can't really tell. And so that way, if you don't want a bigger hole or as rough a edge, you can fill it in with that and it worked out pretty well. I do not know if wall planks <laughs> would endorse that uh, way to do it, but that's just a little tip from us to you. If you come across the same kind of issue that we had, that's his little, a little trick. pro tip. Yeah. Well, what do you want to tell me? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for putting the ship up for the baby. For the baby Cargan. And for me. Yes. I'm, I'm glad I was able to put it up. Feel it looks good. Are there spots that could be better? Sure. But I'm not sure. a professional. The, many years ago, I would have never even have attempted something like this. Thank you to Wall Planks, Wall Planks for sponsoring this video and partnering with us again because honestly, I would not have a shiplap wall if it wasn't for Wall Planks. No. Because Peel and stick shiplap is the way we can do it. <laughs> yeah, and it was it was it really kind of easy to do the way that they kind of lay everything out. They got a ton of videos online. I'm going to have all of Wall Planks information listed in the description box below, and they're nice enough to offer a discount code, which I will have right here for you guys. Definitely check out Wall Planks. We've loved having our shiplap in our bedroom. We're going to love it in here. It already looks so good. I can't wait to get all the furniture and everything put together and really bring this room to life. Well, thank you again for putting this up for me. You're I welcome. really appreciate it. I'm glad I could do it, hon. <laughs> you did a great job. Thanks. And <laughs> you mean that? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. You and don't act like it sometimes. <laughs> oh, yes I do. I am very, just the, out, the outlet. I am very appreciative. <laughs> I can't wait to share with you guys the nursery reveal. Stay tuned for that. And thank you all so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And um, we'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.